I'd like to share with you my end of story because I think it's very much important that we start uh, talking about it openly. Uh, let's start with some statistic. One out of 10 women which you're passing by on the street uh, already is diagnosed or will be diagnosed with endometriosis, uh, which when you think about it, it's pretty much uh, serious. So it means that your friend is very likely to have already endometriosis or will have endometriosis in the future. So it's, it's something would affect a lot of women, a lot of young women. The, uh, the youngest age recorded of endometriosis is uh, 12. I was diagnosed with endometriosis when I was 13. So it's pretty much serious issues. So let's talk about my end of story. So what makes me qualified to speak about it? Well, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a professor. I'm just one of the t tens of thousands uh, girls who used to have endometriosis. Yes, I used to live with it for 20 years and one thing or not, I became expert. And it's not just me because there's a many experts like myself who had absolutely no other choice. When I was diagnosed, when I was 13, I'm 37 just now, so you can do your math. In Poland, there was absolutely uh, no specialist who, you know, who had any clue about this. So I educated myself. I became expert of my own illness to the point that I went to the doctor and I told him that I've got it because I figured out the symptoms and I asked him to be uh, checked for the endometriosis and it's very tricky illness because um, the symptoms are very uh, similar to other illnesses like polycystic ovary syndrome or uh, IBS so and if you have endometriosis all of this can go together so you can actually have IBS and uh, polycystic ovary syndrome while having endometriosis so it's very much very much tricky so that's me with my 20 years expertise. Uh, it's worth to mention that I'm endo-free at the moment. Yes, I'm the second, third year. It's going to be third year into remission. And I put my illness to the remission completely naturally. So it's absolutely possible. What are the common symptoms of endometriosis? Well, with me, it started with horrible pain. Uh, don't let anyone to tell you that uh, painful periods are normal because they are not. They're actually sign of very serious imbalance. So please be very aware of this. So it starts with uh, very painful periods. It starts with um, um, cramps, uh, with irregular periods, with uh, spotting between periods. It was just absolutely nightmare. And it comes with a hormone imbalance as well. So uh, it's very likely that uh, you might have endometriosis and it might show on your skin. You know, I used to have horrible acne for a very long uh, period of time. And of course, another uh, horrible symptom is endobelly, which is bloating. Oof, that's something very horrible, like seriously horrible. You can have a flare-ups and there's certain food which trigger it. So if you want me to make a video about it and how to get rid of the bloating quickly and how to never ever ever have it again, please hit me in the comment section below and I will share everything would work for me and I will make sure that I'm uh, with some help I provide some help and some values for you okay now let's boost some myths and some misconception about the endo uh, one thing which i don't agree with is to get your hair uh, samples to diagnose you with endo i think is a waste of time it's absolutely waste of money and it's waste of space why because it's gonna come up uh, with um, um, 
diagnose that you've got the hormone imbalance? Well, it's not the rocket science that uh, having endo, very likely you have a hormone imbalance. I can tell you like 99% you do have a hormone imbalance and uh, very likely it's because your estrogen level is up and your progesterone is low. So it's not really rocket science. You don't have to pay uh, thousands and thousands and, you know, get absolutely broke just so for somebody to tell you that. I'm telling you just now, you know, you do probably have a hormone imbalance. You can go and have it checked if you've got like spare 100 pounds or something. But, you know, I don't think it's necessary at all. Another thing, uh, what I found out that the supplements are not necessary too. Uh, curcumin and things well they can be they can help but they're not gonna replace all of the nutritions and nutrition here is the key because if you don't have good nutritions you can uh, take all of the supplements out there and they're not gonna work okay so the nutrition is the key and supplements, uh, I will make video maybe later on about the supplements and which one are working, which are not working. I will share some statistics and some research out there because the supplements is a big, massive business. I'm telling you. And, you know, if you knew half things, you know, how they scam people, you would be very aware. So if the uh, nutrition is not in place, not even the best supplements can help you, you know, the nutrition is the key here. And another myth, which I saw um, when it comes to endometriosis and things, is that uh, you cannot heal from it. It's a big BS and it needs to be said, because I'm not the only one who uh, actually managed to put uh, my endometriosis into remission as many many other girls out there who somehow manage okay so instead of dismissing what we have done please pay attention because that might help you okay so if somebody tell you it's no cure we don't know blah 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 it, your only hope is to uh, live and thrive with it then run because it's absolutely not true you cannot thrive when you're sick you cannot thrive when you've got the cramps you cannot thrive when you are bloating it's just one bs your main goal it should be for you to get healthy and this is possible it's absolutely 100 percent possible okay so uh there is a hope yes there is a hope and um I hope this channel will help you to find ways because it's not like I'm going to give you all the answers, you know, on the plate and come with amazing solutions. The best and the hardest work you have to do is to work on yourself. I can give you tools. I can tell you what work with me. I can tell you the research and all the studies and all the science behind it. But you are the one who have to do the main job. Okay. So I hope you like this video. If you would like to uh, know more about uh, this illness, if you've got any specific questions, if you want me to make a video about specific subject, for example, biohacking and endometriosis, then please let me know in the comment section below or just leave me a um, direct message. I always check them. So thank you so much for watching and see you in Friday, in Friday. Bye.